Welcome back, guys. Episode 3 of my GT Legends career playthrough. Actually, audio music. Down. Thank you. Um, actually, this is episode 3B because I already recorded a full episode, one hour or so. Me driving the the Abarth 1000 and later on the Alfa Romeo GTA, doing a challenge twice, namely here in Cup Stage B, David and Goliath. Anyway, the recording broke, OBS crashed, and it's all gone. So I will redo it this time with the Alfa Romeo because the Abarth is just underpowered. Also, I found a way to fix. Um, the sounds, the, the engine sounds. It was really bad with the Alpha. It would always. Uh, there were little cracks in the sound every couple of. actually, a couple of times uh, per second, I think, even. Or uh, every, every second or so. Anyway, uh, fix that. Works now. I don't know if OBS will crash again. It's a bit unstable lately. I don't know why. Anyway, but we will do this challenge here. First race, Manicure National. Against. I, actually, I could drive the Abarth, the Lotus Cortina, the Austin Mini, or the Alfa Romeo, but from my previous attempt, I know that there are other cars. I mean, these are meant to be the Davids, I think, and the Goliaths are a couple of Ford Falcons, I think, and. I will check it out. Can't remember. Let's go. And I found a way to show you the car not being distorted. Look at it, what a beauty. 800 kilograms, 190 kilometers per hour, top speed 126 kilowatts at 7400 RPM. And here you can see the class it's actually competing in, FIA TC65, and I think there is, then there is the GTC? I think so, yeah. Then there's the GTC 76. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Professional. Yes, I'm a professional. Again, I won't qualify or anything. But I will. I will load the correct setup. Hey, where is it? Um, set this favorite load back. Let's check if I actually... Yeah, seven laps. But... Yeah, let's do it like that. Nope. No! Race, let's go. We will need headlights. Ah, yeah, I see. It's a Ford Mustang, Jaguar, Mark II. Ooh. What a great start. Hello, Mr. Jaguar. There you go. Or not. Definitely has a little bit more grunt. Uh, 
Uh, what a great car. Looks nice. Braking pedal for a moment. Brake pedal. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hello, sir. Let's do the same thing. If it's braking that early. Manicure, I haven't seen that track in a while. It hasn't been raced by Formula One, I think, since 2008, if I'm correct. Never been a big fan of this one. And I think neither were the whole Formula One circus, basically. This version here with that short cart is actually quite interesting. Of course, it wouldn't be possible for a Formula 1 car to navigate through. That was quite late braking. Oh, no, no, no! Oh boy. P8. This was quite a dark bomb. But I have to make some ground, make up some ground. New fastest lap. There you have it. I also tweaked the force feedback, tuned down the rumble strip vibrations to do my neighbors a favor. I try to have, have troubles with correcting slides because the wheel just wouldn't. Um, if you let loose of the wheel, if you know what I mean, it should. Wait, wrong gear. If you do uh, opposite lock and you let loose of the wheel, it should actually spin back to the middle, which it really didn't. Ah, oh, come on. Um, but I basically turned off dampening, damping, damping. <laughs> happening in that PLR file and it 
it feels better now, but still not really too good. P7, really not too good. Okay. I think I still can make the podium if I don't mess up again. Let's load that file again. Let's set up. Uh, where is it? Hoppenheim. Load set as favorite. No. Yes. No, yes. Fuel. That's too much. Let's go with this. And there's five laps again. I think later on the races will be longer. What are you guys doing? See that light? <laughs> nice effect. Um, I think still think damage is only a visual. I'm not sure though. Oops. Really weird the way car feels when sliding. Ah. Okay, we'll have him again under the brake on the braking easily. Oh, sorry. Unfortunately, there is no way for me to tweak, at least no way I know of, uh, to tweak the AI. And I'm sure it, that car is actually worse under braking and corner speeds. But still, AI stupidity too. Whoa! Whoa, that was close! <laughs> yes! That must be, it must have been really close. I haven't, I think there's a way to save the replays. Don't know. Must be. Well, 
Ah, here you can see. Wow! <laughs> 24 thousandths of a second. That's close. Alright, I'll need two points behind P2. How can I'm short? Should be the correct setup, yes, we can already go to the race. Yeah, but my experiences with, with um, tweaking AI in some games, I mean, remember, I think. GTR or GTR2 you could come on, you could tweak its performance and it sort of works but also in other games like I remember spending a lot of time with with uh, Codemasters Formula 1 2010 Back in the days, and the AI in that game was just horrible. And cheating like crazy, a lot of rubber band things going on. And I wanted to have nice racing. I installed mods like was it was 2010 or 2011 even I don't know. Um, I installed mods where you basically could tweak every AI car's um, corner speed for every single corner. Like somebody wrote the tool for that. <laughs> Crazy effort. And yeah, these things they all made made it a lot better, but in the end it was still still crappy AI. Basically, what what these when you tweak the AI, all it does usually is um, if you, when you make them uh, quicker, they are just super quick on the straights. Which doesn't really grant uh, exciting racing. Sort of pinched you a little bit, I know. <laughs> Up to P5. You are in my way, sir. Going to the inside there. All right, P3. Look at that. The moment you no longer go for a gap.
bit too quick. But I am leading the race. No. Hello, where's, where is everybody? See what I mean? that big wheel rim doesn't help but the T500 should be strong enough for yeah, that for the wheel auto correcting basically <laughs> anyway first my stuff I'm gonna cut it here for quickly and I'll be back okay I'm back again and my car is in the pits, it seems. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I won. Very nice. By quite a margin. Four and a half seconds. Best lap time. Two seconds quicker than the rest. Oh, oh. Okay. And I'm in P2. I think this is already the end of this challenge. Yeah, finish challenge. So I won't win a car, but I'll get... I don't know. I think 25,000. I'm at 105,000 now. Nice. So I could buy another car. <clears throat> Let's check the other challenges. This one is again the Lotus Cortina. Mm. Don't want to do this now. Ford Mustang. Or... Yeah, let's make this a an Alpha GTA video. So this is the final challenge of of this cup here, with actually six races, and the races are a bit longer, eight laps each, and a couple of different cars. Let's see, Anastorp South, Zolder, Dijon, Prenois, Prenois, Prenois. Short, Monza Junior again, Spa, full track, wow, <laughs> can't wait how that track is here compared to iRacing, and Imola, haven't been there in a while, okay, let's go. Again, load the setup.
So eight laps, nine laps of fuel, that's okay. I'll do a couple of laps just to check if everything is working. Last time I raced here, I can't remember if it was the north or the south configuration. In one of those I was really slow, and the other one I was K ish. the wall. I think this is the one where I'm slow. Yeah. This corner, especially here, uh, the AI is the AI is extremely quick through here. I like this car. Feels great. There's a car next to me, I can hear it. Okay, let's go for the race. Oh, rather big field. Ugh, maybe I should have qualified. <laughs> 24 cars. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I will try that and maybe for the next race. I'm afraid 24 cars is going to be too much for the AI. And actually, I'm having slight frame rate issues. Surprising. Hello, guys. The eye is really, really quick here. If 
fight each other. Nice. You are in my way, sir. This is beginning to make a lot of fun, actually. Hey, another GTA. <laughs> Look how small that car is compared to the... Compared to the Mustang. Another spot. Maybe another one here in the braking zone. Oh, there's a mini out of the race, really. Didn't know that was possible. Maybe he's just glitched into the tire wall there. cars. I think I'll have to qualify. I mean, it's, it's fun to try to pass the whole field, but Although it doesn't look like I'm really gaining on this, these two guys. Think so, sir. Wow. P8. That's not good enough. pace puts me.
was a lot better through corner at the end of the straight this time. And Tell me I have to finish every race in the top three. Uh oh. Top guys. Three seconds quicker. Two and a half. Well, this track is very difficult, but I gained two points. That's not that bad. Let's go. It's older. Again, I'll have to do a little bit of practice. Quick sip of coffee. them AI doing its AI thing For those of you complaining that iRacing's low speed physics are weird, <laughs> come on. Um, you have to try this. It's even worse. How many places have I gained yet? E6. Five spots. It's a bit late. That was too early.
must. <sighs> Nearly did the same thing again. Ah, okay. Can carry more speed into there if you get the entry right. It's weird that that Ford is seems to be quick at the beginning and then it's holding up the field. Same mistake. This time, no, it's not really better. Yes, you can take it in third. Much better. outside now or not See my steering wheel is not not 100% straight. <laughs> uh, just a tiny bit to the left. It's somewhere here in the adapter that I fabricated. Didn't do this with super exact rocket science. And in iRacing, for example, it doesn't matter because you can calibrate it to whatever you want. And uh, I guess in all the other modern sims too.
It's a shame I can't use the button boxes. I'm sure you can switch through certain various things on that no tech thing. For example. If you don't know what I meant with that reference to that tire wall over there at the beginning, um, watch my Road Warrior round something. 2.4 hours of solder in the BMW Z4 video, and you'll know what I mean. Fifty nine point four. Qualifying lap was at two minutes zero something. I think I'm in P three. Three alphas at the front. I have to say, this is getting more and more fun. Yes. Still next to me, I guess. There he is, yeah. Like to know how many laps are remaining. But even if I activate the HUD, I think it would it would end up in the corners here. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Well, I'll try that. Will I catch this guy? I think his name is Anton. Mm. 
still not the final lap. every lap Still one more lap. Hmm. No, this. Yes. Yeah, passed him in the final lap. What a win. They ate your dust. Yes, they did. What a race. lap time. The yeah, eyes not that bad actually. I think with a little bit of practice well oh, it's okay. But amongst other cars, a lot close to other cars it doesn't perform too well. <laughs> ah, okay, you can watch it here. It's only the can I? Oh. Whatever. And I'm third in the championship. Dieter Karl Anton. That's his name. Two guys up ahead. Four points. Dijon. I'll do a little bit of practice and get back to you for the race.